Hey guys, it's Tara. Today I'm here to talk to you about the Desire Planner, and it's much different from all the other planners I've ever mentioned. So first things first, this comes in a daily edition and a weekly edition. I have the daily. Some things you need to know, it's wire bound, has a hard cover, an attached elastic band, and it has a folder in the back. Something else you need to know is that it doesn't have laminated tabs for each month. And it's done by having a half moon shaped cutout of paper, and then the months are all purple. So you can see them, but it's not so easy to grab the months. Quick overview, you always have a monthly calendar each month. You have a monthly check-in overview, and this is where you set your goals and your intentions and plan how you're gonna achieve those every month. And then you have the daily pages. And of course, the weekend pages, like most daily planners, are split in one page. Now, a big thing with the Desire Planner is something that's also in the Desire Map, and every single day, every single page, it asks you, what will you do to feel the way you want to feel? And the whole purpose of this is you have your core desired feelings, which is something you learn and you discover on your own through the Desire Map, and you think about what you're gonna do each day and whether or not that's gonna get you to feel the way you wanna feel. And that's so important. So this is gonna challenge you in so many ways. It's gonna make you think about what you need to say no to. It's gonna make you think about things you wanna change in the world, things you wanna change about yourself. It's just not gonna allow you to skate by and not think about those goals you're setting, whether they're really goals you want, whether that's really the life you want, or if the life you're living right now is actually just what you want and it's okay to not wanna to strive for more. So do keep that in mind. This is a challenging planner. I would even go so far as to say that it is a planner and a journal. So if you don't like inner reflection, you don't wanna think about things, you're not gonna like this planner, you're just not. So those daily pages, they are organized in a way that's very similar to some other daily planners. The only difference is that they do not have detailing that you're used to. So instead of a long schedule that already has the time slots written in for you, this is a blank schedule. And then at the very top of every page, you have a soul prompt. Like I said, this is a challenging planner. It makes you think. The soul prompt is made to make you think every single day about what you're doing. And you also have a to-do list section. At the top of it, it's got three things. So the top three things you need to do that day, your main focus in terms of productivity and work. And below that, it's got normal to-do lists, but it's very short. So the whole purpose of this is to say, hey, your day is not based off of how much work you got done. It's based off of so much more. And then it also has spaces for things you wanna stop doing. So what should you be saying no to? Things you wanna change. There's also a spot for your gratitude. So what are you grateful for? And then of course, because this is by Danielle Laporte and her thing is having core desired feelings, there's a space at the top of every day for you to write down your core desired feelings. And writing them down every day is what makes you remember them and makes them the focal point of every decision you make that day. So the weekend pages are quite a bit different from the daily pages. Like I said, they're split onto one page. So the left is Saturday and the right is Sunday. You do have a spot for to-do lists on both, but just like the daily pages, it's not super long. But you don't have a schedule. You don't have like things to prep for, nothing like that. It's all very, very reflective. It's all very personal. So over half of each day's section is devoted to a specific thing. Saturdays is devoted to reflecting. So reflecting on the week you've had, reflecting on decisions you've made, on absolutely anything you need to reflect on. There are no lines. You can doodle it, you can draw it, you can you know, do whatever. It's meant to be open and interpreted however you need it. Sunday is just for envisioning. So envision the week you have coming. What do you want to do? What do you want it to look like? How do you want to feel? Envisioning the month, if it's at the start of the month. It's just like Saturday, meant to be interpreted however you need. And since this is meant to be kind of a journal as well as a planner, there are a lot of note pages included throughout the planner, a lot of space to write down your thoughts, to brainstorm, to dream, to doodle, to do whatever you want to do that makes, or whatever just makes you feel you know, created or fulfilled or in tune with yourself. Now let's take a look at the Earn, Spin, Love scorecard for this planner. So that is all I have right now on the Desire Planner for a really in-depth, 
detailed review, please head to Earn Spin Live. And as always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.